What you guys got another video here for you on how to bring back the classic Windows 10 right click context menu to Windows 11. Now, if you're like me, I don't particularly like the right click context menu in Windows 11. It just seems a bit cumbersome. And if you want to restore it back to the Windows 10 feel of right click context menu, then I'll show you how to do it four ways in this video. So I'll be showing you four ways on how to do this. You can choose which one you want to use to change your right click context menu on Windows 11. So first off, let's go to the registry editor. This is not for everyone, but some people do like to learn how to do it in the registry. So we're going to be doing it in the registry first. So if you want to do a much more easier method, then look further on in the video. So you can see this is the path we need to go to here. So navigate to this location, H key current user. Then we're going to go down to software. Then go down to classes and then go down to CLSID. So navigate to there. Now it's always best to back up your registry before making registry changes. So I'd always advise you to do that by going to file and then export. And you can export the whole of your registry when you click on computer in the registry. So once you're inside here, what you need to do is right click and go to new and once we do new, we're going to be adding a new key. So let's go new key. And that new key needs to be quite a long uh, code that you have to put in here. I'll leave that in the video description and paste that in like so. Once we got that in, what we can do now is right click on that key that we just created. And we're going to be creating another key inside here. So go right click new and key. And this is another Key that we're going to add here so what you need to do is right click and you can paste straight in from the video description this name here so paste this in and highlight this one click on it and highlight it and then go up to where it says default and you should see up the top here where it says value not set and that's because we need to double click on this and you can see there's no data in here we don't need to have any data in here just click ok and that should be now set so that is the first way of enabling it. And what you need to do now is either restart your PC, which takes a fair bit of time, or you can open up Task Manager and restart Windows Explorer. So in the search box, type Task Manager and open up the Task Manager if you want to do it this way, or you can restart your system, whatever way suits you. So inside here, you will see Windows Explorer. Click on this one and on the bottom right, click Restart. And once you've done this, your context menu should be uh, changed here. So let's have a look here. Right click, context menu is changed back to the way it was in Windows 10. So this is the way I prefer it. And uh, I do like it this way. If you prefer the Windows 11 one, by all means, you can leave it as is. But I per personally prefer uh, the Windows 10 version right click context menu. It's just less cumbersome, less clicks. So if you want to revert this back, what you need to do here is go back into the registry editor. If you want to put it back to the way it was, click yes here to the use account control and then navigate to that same location and delete the two keys that you added into the registry. It will be this one here. So we're going to go ahead and delete that one there. And it's the one above this one here. So I'm going to delete this one here. Make sure you delete the correct key. Otherwise, you may break your system. And basically, all you need to do then is restart Windows Explorer again. So open up Task Manager go back to Windows Explorer and you can then uh, restart this or you can restart your PC. So let me just quickly restart this. There we go. And it should be back to Windows 11 right click context menu right here. So if you want to do it another way, let me show you another way of doing this. It's using registry files. Now these registry files have already been created, as you can see here, enable and disable. So just double click on enable old right click menu. And basically when we click on this, it's gonna prompt us to install this registry key. So say yes to use account control. And beyond this little window here, there should be a registry editor here saying yes to enter this into the registry. Once we've done that, we can restart the PC or just restart Windows Explorer again. So go back into task manager and we'll restart Windows Explorer. And by adding that registry key, you can see that it's added in the old style context menu from Windows 10. 
if you want to see what keys have been added, open up the registry editor. And if we go back to that location, you can see it's added the exact same keys that I added into the registry earlier on, but it's done it with a registry key. So if you prefer this method, then by all means, download these. I'll leave these on my website where you can download them. So that's the adding of the registry uh, key. And we can now disable it by clicking on yes and click yes to edit the registry. And this will then disable it and remove it from the system and revert back to the default Windows 11 style right click context menu. You will need to obviously again restart Windows Explorer and there we go, it's back to the default. Let me show you another way to do this as well so you can see another way, which is a really nice little utility. It's from the Sordom uh, team. These make some really cool little programs. It has been uploaded to Virus Total. You can check it for yourself if you want to check it. It comes back clean. And there is some information here about the application. I'll quickly show you the application in action. And this means it does it all for you. If you like keeping these little tweak tools on your USB toolkit, then this is another little great addition for that to make it nice and quick and easy when you're coming to tweak people's PCs if they like that sort of stuff. So let's go into here. I've already downloaded it. I'm going to go into the application here and double click on this one. And you can see it's nice and easy to understand. We've got enable Windows 11 classic context menu style or enable the Windows 11 default context menu style. So go here and click yes. And straight away it will restart the Windows Explorer for us. And we can now right click on here and it's automatically done that for us. Very simple and easy to do. So whatever way suits you. And uh, come down here and put this back to the default context menu style. I'm going to click on this one here. And this time I'm going to click on the Restart Explorer, say yes, and that should now be back to default. There you go. That's the default Windows 11 style, if you prefer that. And there's a little menu system down here where you can go command line info and all that sort of good stuff. Down there, a link to their website, which is useful because they've got a load of useful little applications on their website. So let's do one more before we end the video, and that is doing it inside command prompt. And uh, again, some people like the command prompt way. So let's go ahead and show you inside command prompt. Type CMD in search and run that as administrator. This will open up the administrative command prompt window. Inside here, we need to add in a command. And this is the command that you're going to be adding in. This is going to add a registry key in. The operation completed successfully. And of course, as you know, we need to restart the Windows Explorer here. So I'm going to quickly do this. And then once we've done this, you should have that feature enabled. So let's go ahead quickly. There we go. And we have now the context menu from Windows 10. And if you want to disable it, you would obviously do the opposite command in here, which will delete that registry key. And there it is there. And push delete here and push enter on the keyboard. And this will then remove that key from the registry. So that's four ways to bring back the old style context menu from Windows 10 and import that into Windows 11. So depending on which way you want to do yours, there's four different ways of doing this. And I think it's a nice little way of tweaking Windows 11. Now, I know a lot of people don't like tweaking uh, their systems and that's OK. But this one is an essential tweak, I think, rather than one of those pointless performance tweaks. This is an essential tweak that changes the right click context menu to something that people used to like, but they still want to use Windows 11. So this is how you can change it. Anyway, all the information will be in the video description. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Just before I go, I just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Have a nice day. Bye for now.